Today on whatrvsite.com, we are in Decatur, Arkansas. And we're actually gonna do something a little different this time because for the last two and a half years, we've been uh, bringing you guys videos on different campgrounds across the country, looking at what they've done, looking you know how they have their campground set up. Um, and so now we got our own campground. So what we're gonna do here, and subscribe if you wanna follow along, we're gonna take this, uh, we got a lease on this land here, out here in Decatur, Arkansas. It's on the outskirts of Bentonville, known as the mountain bike capital of the world. <clears throat> and we were able to get a lease on five and, well, five and point eleven acres out here in uh, kind of middle of nowhere, super quiet. Um, and we're gonna put five, hopefully, camp spots out here using hip camp and um, maybe some of the other campsites to <clears throat> build our own little campground. So like I said, for the last couple years here, we've been going around the country learning how people will have run and operate and uh, we're gonna take the good, bad, and the ugly and try to turn it into something awesome. And so, uh, yeah, we got this uh, beautiful piece of property to work on and uh, the first step is mowing the grass. Let's go take a look. So we'll do a quick walk around the land here and um, We'll get some drone footage here shortly, but um, it's kind of interesting because this lot had like a mobile home over there. That's like a 44 by um, 28 foot pad, which we may or may not turn into some tiny homes or I want to put a barn dominium there for our camper or something potentially. Um, but it has, you know, it's power to the lot here and there's a septic tank buried over there, um, relatively new and there's a couple outbuildings here still. But uh, probably the coolest feature, this used to be a horse farm. It was called Blackwater Ranch. Um, they actually seemed like they did really a really good community effort here, so um, it's pretty interesting. I might keep this up if, if people want to come out and camp and have their horse. I'm tempted to leave this out. I know one of my son wants to do a lot of blacksmithing, so we're gonna use part of that as a blacksmithing shop. <clears throat> this shop here, we'll probably use just for you know, tractor storage. Actually, we go to a lot of tractor shows, so I have like some old Ford tractors that we'll be using to maintain this land ultimately. It will go and live in that shed there. Right here where we're standing, I might put one big spot with power. Ultimately, it's pretty level. You see the grass needs to be mowed, and that's what the plan was today, to come out here and try to cut some of this down before it got too thick. Unfortunately, this area back here has like a lot of rocks. So I'll probably have to brush hog that piece of it. And this Arkansas, uh, chert rock stuff like messes your blades up pretty bad <clears throat> but um over here we were thinking on this edge here there's a pond down here we'll walk take a look at in a second on that edge there where i go mow i think we're going to put the spots across this edge here that space them out pretty wide so you have like a good you know a couple hundred feet maybe between the spots it goes around the bend over there and the idea is to call it Vandor, kind of like a popular sci-fi movie, but uh, I want to get some, uh, I like the van life idea. Get a bunch of vans in here and or, you know, we can obviously accommodate the bigger fifth wheels and whatnot. It's a lot of space out here, but I'll probably knock a hole out of the gate, like maybe right there in the middle. Looks like there's some supports that I can probably put a gate there. And then that way you can come to the campground without coming onto the main property over there. I gotta take that, uh, I guess the wind came out here and beat that building up. Take that stuff down, clean that up. But the lot's pretty awesome, and it's mostly level. I'll probably put some uh, railroad ties, and that's one thing I wanna do when I build this campground out, is I wanna make sure that all the spots are very level. That's the thing I hate the most about, the one thing I'll tell you, traveling across the country, I don't like is when I get to the campground and it's like super crooked and you're fighting all night it's raining and you're trying to set your camper up and it's all unlevel it's awful so here I'll put some spots out right here in fact I might put the first one right here in this little nook it's pretty awesome looks pretty level there's trees down under that edge is the water we'll walk to that pond in a second but it's uh get some railroad ties in here put a bed of gravel May or may not run power. There's power to the lot over there, but this is about, I don't know, 150 feet, 200 feet over here. So it might be a little tricky to, 
to do that. Look, there's a rain barrel. It's pretty exciting. This place is awesome. Hopefully there's no snakes out here. This grass is getting pretty tall. Might have to get my brush hog out here. Take a walk over to the pond. So over here, like I said, I'd like to get, I think hip camp uh, allows you one site per acre. And in the next video, I'll probably go through the whole setup of that because it did take quite a while to get that all set up. And then obviously there's some, uh, uh, duck was over there. I'll put a bunch of hammocks over here. This is pretty cool. It's like a pond. You'll probably get bit by a snake. <clears throat> There's a nice little shady nook here. With a bunch of trees. And you can hang a hammock back here. A little pond. Hopefully we'll stock that. It's very shallow right now. It's usually up over on the edge there. I think this whole valley over here actually floods with water when it rains. But um, I'll probably put a spot right here too. Make this pretty level, like this is probably the fifth spot. <clears throat> like I said, I'd probably do five because you got five acres, one per acre roughly. I'll keep them spread out pretty far. Um, but like I said, you're about, from here, you're about 20, 25 minutes from downtown Bentonville. <clears throat> this lot's pretty cool because about 10 minutes into town is a town called Centerton. And they have like Starbucks and Walmart and anything you can imagine. So it's uh, it's pretty awesome. It's a good location because you can out here like I haven't yet seen a person drive by on the road, but yet you're still out in the country and it's quiet. And then if you need to go get yourself a Starbucks coffee, just drive right to Centerton. It's about 10 minutes away. So this would be like where I put the campground probably down this row. So yeah, this is uh. Um, a first video, like I said, follow along, subscribe, check out the next video. It's probably going to be about how to set up hip camp and some of the logistics involved with getting this all set up with the LLCs and whatnot. It might be kind of interesting. And um, I'll have some drone footage to add to the end of this. So fantastic.